Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Test and Tune. Now, on today's episode, we're doing a mic comparison. We've recently just purchased the Saramonic Blink 500 kit, which is a dual wireless microphone system. Now, normally for a lot of our main YouTube videos, there are two of us, there are two of us in the video. So mixing up um, two audio files has always been a bit difficult. And a lot of the videos we do, we actually film within a car. So we used to use, oh, many, many years ago, we used to use a lapel, uh, and that would record to two separate devices for each of us that we would then mix together into post, which would normally get the best sort of quality and lack of road noise and noise that's coming through the cars. However, it was always hard to get the audio files perfectly in sync. And when you've got person A's mixed in with person B's microphone signal, it, all, it just wouldn't sound right. So what we can do now is actually have the the Ceremonic do the mixing for us. We did actually try with a professional mixer, which I think was a Ceremonic mixer actually back in the day, um, and it, we, we just borrowed it from a friend and that did fix the problem, but those mixers were around three or four hundred dollars just for the mixer itself. Uh, so yeah, because of that cost, we ended up reverting back to a Rode VideoMic Pro, which you've seen on this channel, we really like. Um, and that is what we've got as part of this test today. So in today's test, we've got Oh, three audio sources, I guess. We've got the GoPro Media Mod. We have the Rode external microphone that is plugged in through the mic adapter into GoPro 2. And then, of course, we have the Saramonic, which I'm actually just, I'm being a bit cheap with this. I'm recording the Saramonic straight into my iPhone. So that's where that audio file is going to go. So let's go and do some tests and see how they all compare. If we can get out. Now, the worst part about filming within a car is... Well, in our experience, is the road noise that you get from the tyres. And when you have a GoPro mounted to the hard part of the glass, I don't know if you've ever put your ear up to the glass, but the noise that echoes through the chassis of the car and the glass is crazy. And of course, if you've got a solid mounted GoPro, that noise is amplified. So hopefully you'll be able to see that coming through the media mod, which is, of course, solid mounted. Now, we got around that a bit with the road, and we did that by using a... A mount for the Rode microphone, which actually has soft ball joints, so it's not solid like a GoPro mount. It's not very good for cameras, to be fair, because the camera is always moving. But for a microphone, it's perfect. That whip mixed in with the sound deadener or dampener built into the Rode, we actually ended up with okay audio. But the idea of this is trying to step it up a notch. And also for when we're filming out and about, or if we're interviewing anyone, being able to throw one of these mics onto them and have two audio channels from two people without having to do any work in post is really appealing. So we'll see how it goes. Now what you've heard so far is just driving around town, relatively low speed, and in a moment we will get out onto the highway. Now to be honest I'm actually kind of curious to see how this test works because it's been a while since I've actually used a lapel in a car. Um, and as I was just saying before, it's the, the key to getting the good audio is getting away from the vibrations and the noise that the, the, the engine, the exhaust and the tires make. And obviously having the microphone mounted to your person is probably one of the best insulation mounting points you could have within a vehicle. So we, what you've seen so far, the peak speed was probably 60 kilometers an hour but we will now get onto the highway and it's at speed. The faster you go, the louder that noise that's reverberating through the chassis gets. And it, it's tire noise, it really is. And this car is quite bad for it, which hopefully you will see on the medium on audio. So yeah, we're just merging onto the highway and this is gonna be the true test of the three mics that we've got going at this point in time. Unfortunately, traffic's quite bad at the moment, so we're not quite, uh, okay, we're at 100 kilometers an hour and we'll see how it's working. I'm genuinely excited to see how this works. Even the tire noise from the cars going past is quite loud to the human ear, so. It's going to be interesting to see what mics pick up what noises and how usable it is and how much we can manipulate that audio in post as well to get that really professional sound quality that we're chasing. Alright, I'd say that's probably enough audio testing there. 
I'm going to head back to the office and see what sounds best. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. So, I've had a quick look through the footage and I'm really impressed with it. The difference was more than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, yeah, the Saramonic Blink 500 is amazing if you're going to be doing any filming in the cars. Uh, one thing I didn't do in the test, I didn't actually use the provided lapel. Now, don't forget this kit does come with two transmitters and two lapels going into one receiver. Um, yeah, and if I'd have used that lapel, the audio would have been slightly better again because the main receiver, and I was just using the inbuilt mic in the receiver, was actually scraping on the seat belt, which you might not have been able to pick it up, but I did notice it when I was checking the audio in the footage. Yeah, aside from that, that was pretty much a flawless test. The difference between having the Saramonic and our traditional setup, and this here is the, the Rode microphone on the rubber ball jointed mount, and again, it's got its suppressor on there to help remove vibrations and, and noise from the car was huge. Yeah, the Saramonic is a huge jump over this, and this is what we've been making do with for over five years. As for the media mod, I kind of regret I purchased it. I guess it is handy to actually mount the receiver for the Saramonic to go into the GoPro, um, but to be fair, I probably could have bought one of those $20 Chinese cases and then just used my GoPro mic adapter anyway and saved $100. Uh, these are about 120 Aussie dollars, 130 Aussie dollars. So yeah, it's a bit disappointing. But yeah, if you're getting into filming cars, um, really, really recommend getting a lapel mic system. The main competitor to the Saramonic is the Rode, oh, I can't remember what they're called now. I'll flash up the exact name, is the Rode version of these. The big thing I like about the Saramonic is the fact that you can have two channels. You can have two people going into one audio source and it's doing all the mixing for you. Uh, I have just used this straight out of the box. On the segment that you've seen there where it's on the highway, I probably could have turned the gain down a little bit as I was talking slightly louder, which is something you do when you're driving without really noticing anyway. And obviously my louder voice um, could have turned the gain down on this and that would have hidden the, the road noise even further. But for something that's straight out of the device without being played with, I'm super, super impressed with it. Really like the Saramonic. This was around 400 Australian dollars. And well, my road lapels that we used to use back in the day, they were about $80 each and you had to plug them into a phone. Love it. Looking forward to making some videos with it. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any comments, uh, tips, advice, thoughts on the Saramonic or the competitor, the road version, hit us up in the comments below. Any questions, we're here to help. And let's get making some more videos. We'll catch you on the next one.